Let's see. Mary at the feet of Jesus. The prophet teaching her. Luke 10.39. The priest comforting her. John 11.32. And the king anointed by her. John 12. Either 8 or 3. Sin. Past, present, and future recognized and provided for. Past. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar. 1 John 1.10 Present. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. 1 John 1.8 Future. If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father. 1 John 2.1 Faint not. In prayer, Luke 18.1 In confidence, 2 Corinthians 4.1 in hope, 2 Corinthians 4.16. In work, Galatians 6.9. At tribulations, Ephesians 3.13. In well-doing, 2 Thessalonians 3.13. Under chastening and rebuke, Hebrews 12, verse 5. It is the privilege and duty of the Lord's people... Matthew 121 and 2 Corinthians 616 on the Lord's Day Acts 27 Revelation 110 to gather around the Lord's table 1 Corinthians 1021 to eat the Lord's Supper 1 Corinthians 1120 in remembrance of the Lord's death 1 Corinthians 1126 discerning the Lord's body 1 Corinthians 11.29 until the Lord's coming 1 Corinthians 11.26 all linked together in the Lord's name Matthew 18 verse 20 but for a moment the hypocrite's joy Job 25 the Lord's anger Psalm 35 the liar's tongue Proverbs 12:19 Our light affliction 2 Corinthians 4:17 When you have crossed Jordan beware of idolatry Deuteronomy 4 verse 15 to 24 When you've crossed Jordan be not unequally yoked with unbelievers Deuteronomy 7 verses 1 through 3 Beware lest thine heart be lifted up Deuteronomy 8 verses 11 through 18 be separate, Deuteronomy 18, verses 9 through 14. Be honest and upright, Deuteronomy 19, 14. Be courageous, Deuteronomy 20, verses 3 and 4. Destroy the Lord's enemies, Deuteronomy 25, 19. Give the first fruits to God, Deuteronomy 26, 1 and 2. Love and obey the Lord, Deuteronomy 30, verse 20. God working for us, 1 Samuel 14.6 God working in us, Hebrews 13.21, Philippians 2.13 God working by us, 2 Corinthians 5.20 God working with us, Mark 16.20 and 2 Corinthians 6.1 Our dwelling place, 1. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. Psalm 27, verse 4. Number two, two, our dwelling place. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Psalm chapter 91, verse 1. 3. Lord, Thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Psalm 90, verse 1. Put on the whole armor of God. Ephesians 6, 11 through 17. The girdle of truth for service. I am the truth. John 14, 6. The breastplate of righteousness for the affections. The Lord our righteousness. Jeremiah 23, 6. The sandals 
of the preparation of the gospel of peace for walk. He is our peace, Ephesians 2.14. The shield of faith for temptation. The author and finisher of our faith, Hebrews 12.2. The helmet of salvation for protection. The Lord is my salvation, Psalm 27, verse 1. The sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, for defense. The word was God, John 1, 1. Put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ, Romans 13, 14. Christ on the Mount of Olives. The Triumphal Entry, Luke 19, verses 29 and 37. Weeping over Jerusalem, Luke 19, verses 41 through 44. Prophetic Teaching, Matthew chapter 24, verse... Oh, Matthew chapters 24 and 25. The Night Watches, Luke 21, 37 and 22, 39. The Agony in the Garden, Matthew 26, 30. The Ascension, the last spot upon which he stood, Acts 1, 12. The Coming Again, the next place on which his feet shall stand, Zechariah 14, verse 4. I see a 15 here. Hebron. Hebron's the place of separation, Genesis 13, 18. The place of worship, Genesis 13, 18. The starting point for victory, Genesis 14, 18. The place of communion, Genesis 18, verses 1 and 33. The place of promise, Genesis 18, verses 10 and 14. The place of intercession, Genesis 18, verses 23 to 32. The place of conquest, Joshua 10, verses 36 and 37. A city of refuge, Joshua 21, verses 11 and 13. The place of weeping, 2 Samuel chapter 3, verse 32. The place of union, 2 Samuel chapter 5, verse 1. The place of anointing, 2 Samuel chapter 5, verse 3. The place of sovereignty, 2 Samuel chapter 5, verse 5. No difference. Condemnation. There is no difference, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3, 22 and 23. Salvation. There is no difference. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. Romans chapter 10 verse 12. The cup. 1. The cup of wrath, wrath, which all deserve. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup, and the wine is red. It is full of mixture, and he poureth out of the same. But the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth, shall wring them out, and drink them. Psalm 75 verse 8. 2. The cup of salvation, offered to all. I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. Psalm 116, verse 13. The cup of blessing for believers. My cup runneth over. Psalm 23, 5. 4. The cup of suffering, which all must drink. But Jesus answered and said, Ye know not what ye ask, are ye able to drink of the cup that I shall drink of? Matthew 20, 22. 5. The cup of consolation, also for believers. Neither shall men tear themselves for them in mourning. To comfort them for the dead, neither shall men give them the cup of consolation to drink for their father or for their mother. Jeremiah 16, 7. 6. A cup of refreshing. 6. A cup of refreshing, which all may give. And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water only, in the name of a disciple, verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. Matthew chapter 10, verse 42. Number 7. The cup of communion and testimony for believers. 
After the same manner also he took the cup, when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread, and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 25 and 26. The great outlet of sin is the tongue. The great inlets of temptation are the ear and the eye. But of the whole body the heart is mistress. Therefore let grace rule in the heart, and the whole man shall be subject. Two siftings. Christ fans to get rid of the chafe, Matthew 3.12. Satan sifts to get rid of the wheat, Luke 22.31. At home, judgment escaped, Exodus 9.19, work sifted, Haggai 1.9, labors ended, Luke 17.7, with the Lord, 2 Corinthians 5.8. Christian progress, onward, Exodus 40, verse 36, forward, Ezekiel 1, verses 9-12. Not backward, Jeremiah 7, 24, and Jeremiah 15, verse 6. Upward, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 21, and Proverbs 15, 24. Christian progress still upward, Ezekiel 41, verse 7. Godward, 1 Thessalonians 1, 8. Homeward, Isaiah 14, 17, margin. Heavenward, Acts 1.10. Toward the Mark, Philippians 3.14. Who is my neighbor? The one who needs my help, Luke 10.29. The one with whom I can share the Lamb, Exodus 12.4. There is a great difference between sin dwelling and reigning in us. It dwells in every believer, but reigns in the unbeliever. God has two thrones, one in the highest heavens, the other in the lowliest heart. The blood alone makes us safe. The word alone makes us sure. We are as to our bodies in Egypt. We are as to our experience in the wilderness. We are as to our faith in the Holy Land. The Lamb of God on the altar, John 1.29 on the throne, Revelations 5, 6, in eternity, 1 Peter 1, 19 and 20. The joy of the Lord, the shepherd's joy over his sheep, Luke 15, verses 5 and 7. The seeker's joy over the piece of silver, Luke 15, verse 9. The father's joy over the prodigal, Luke 15, 24. The purchase's joy over the treasure, Matthew 13:44, The healer's joy over the cleansed ones, Jeremiah 33, 9. The creator's joy over his works, Psalm 104, verse 31. The sower's joy over the sheaves, Psalm 126, verse 6. The father's joy over his wise child, Proverbs 23, verse 24, and 17, verse 21. Proverbs. The king's joy over the willing people, 1 Chronicles chapter 29, verses 9 through 17. The master's joy over his disciples, John 15, verse 11. The bridegroom's joy over his bride, Isaiah chapter 62, verse 5. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord, Matthew 25, verse 21. Similes of union between Christ and the believer. As father and son, John 17, 21. As Adam and the race, 1 Corinthians 15, 22. As food with the body, John 6, 56 and 57. As stones in a building, Ephesians chapter 2, verses 20 through 22. 
as a vine and its branches. John chapter 15 verse 5. As the body and the head. Ephesians chapter 4 verses 15 and 16. As bride and bridegroom. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 31 and 32. Seven changes. A changed mind. Repentance. A changed heart. Regeneration. A changed life. Conversion. A changed standing. Justification. A changed relationship. Sonship. A changed service. Sanctification. A changed body. Glorification. Four typical men in Genesis and their brides. Adam, human nature. His bride part of himself. Isaac, death and resurrection. His bride fetched by the Holy Spirit. Jacob, the servant. His bride, the fruit of his labor. Joseph, the head of his brethren. His bride nearer to him than his brethren. on the Mount of Olives. Compare David weeping over his rejection by Jerusalem. 2 Samuel 15.30 Jesus weeping over his rejection by Jerusalem. Luke 19.41 David foretelling his return. 2 Samuel 15.25 Jesus foretelling his return. Matthew 24 and Matthew 25. David contemplating his habitation. 2 Samuel 15:25. Jesus contemplating the temple. Mark 13 verse 3. David won't worship there. 2 Samuel chapter 15 verse 32. Jesus want to resort thither. Luke 22 verse 39. David's servants sharing his rejection. 2 Samuel 16, verse 6. Jesus' servants sharing his rejection. John 15, verse 20. David forbidding his servants to take vengeance. 2 Samuel chapter 16, verses 9 and 10. Jesus forbidding his servants to take vengeance. Matthew chapter 26, verses 51 through 53. David's reward for his faithful servant. 1 Kings chapter 2 verse 7 Jesus reward for his faithful servant Luke 22 verse 25 through 30 Contrast A sorrowful procession 2 Samuel 15 A joyful procession Luke 19 verse 35 through 38 David cursed by Shimei 2 Samuel 16, verses 5 through 8 and 13. Jesus kissed by the traitor. Luke 22, verses 47 and 48. David's servants on his right hand and on his left. 2 Samuel chapter 16, verse 6. Jesus forsaken by his disciples. Mark chapter 14, verse 50. Shimei cursing as he went. 2 Samuel 16, verse 13. Jesus blessing as he went. Luke 24, verse 50. Never was there a lack of soul trouble yet, but there was a key to it in God's word. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us. Ephesians 1, 3, past who comforteth us, 2 Corinthians 1, 3 and 4, present, who hath begotten us again unto a lively hope, 1 Peter 1, 3, future. Christ's shortest answers, go, Matthew 8, 32, come, Matthew 14, 29. New Year's Days, Atonement, Ezekiel 45, 18, Cleansing, 2 Chronicles 29.17 Obedience Ezra 10.17 Starting on a journey Ezra 7.9 Worship Exodus chapter 40 verse 2 Fears removed Genesis 18 verse 13 The word of the Lord came Ezekiel 
29, verse 17. Keep away from places where people say to you, I didn't expect to see you here. The tenderness of God, as a father pitieth, Psalm 103, verse 13, as a mother comforteth, Isaiah 66, verse 13, as a hen gathereth, Matthew 23, verse 37, as an eagle fluttereth, Deuteronomy 32, 11, as a nurse cherisheth, 1 Thessalonians 2, 7, as a shepherd seeketh, Ezekiel 34, 12, as a refiner sitteth, Malachi 3.3 3. As a bridegroom rejoiceth Isaiah 62.5 How to understand the scriptures Step 1 Pray earnestly for divine illumination Psalm 119 verse 18 Step 2 Meditate devoutly on the truths revealed Psalm 119 verse 97 Inquire honestly with a readiness to do the will of God when revealed. Acts chapter 8 verses 31 through 38. 4. Compare scripture with scripture. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 13. A change of heart in regeneration is 1. Essential. Man may be saved without friends, money, honor, but not without the new birth. John chapter 3 verses 3 and 5. 2. A change of heart in regeneration is thorough and universal. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17. All things are become new. A change in heart in regeneration is above nature. It is by the power of the Holy Spirit. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 19. A scriptural sum. The text for the following scriptural sum may be found in 2 Peter 1 verses 5 through 7. It is as follows. I see we're about to do some addition. Add to your faith virtue. Add to your virtue knowledge. Add to your knowledge temperance. Add to temperance patience. Add to patience godliness. Add to godliness brotherly kindness. Add to brotherly kindness, charity. Answer, for if this, these things be in you, and abound, they make you that ye shall be neither barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord's Prayer. 1. Our Father. Believers are children. John 1, 12 and 13. Galatians 3.26 and 1 John 5.1 2. Hallowed be thy name. Believers are worshippers. John 4.23 and Philippians chapter 3 verse 3 3. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come. Believers are subjects. Luke chapter 12 verse 32 chapter 22 verse 29 and 30 Number 4. Thy will be done. Believers are servants. John 12.26, Romans 6.16, 6, and 1 Peter 2.16. 5. Give us our needful food. Believers are beggars. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 through 11. John 14, verses 13 and 14. 6. Forgive our trespasses. Believers are sinners. Romans 7.21 and 1 John 1.8 and 9. 7. Deliver us from evil. Believers are saints. Romans 1.7, 1 Corinthians 1.2, and 2 Timothy 1.9. So believers are children, worshipers, subjects, servants, beggars, sinners, and saints. The Seven Voices of Jesus. Shepherds. Follow me, John 10:27. Masters, occupy, Luke 19:13. Saviors, come unto me, Matthew 11:28. Teachers, learn of me, Matthew 11:29. 29. 
Bridegrooms, open to me. Song of Solomon 5.2 Friends, I will sup with him. Revelation 3.20 Physicians, wilt thou be made whole? John 5.6 Bible Signals Danger The wages of sin is death. Romans 6.23 Caution Try the spirits whether they be of God. 1 John 4.1 Safety Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. 1 Timothy 1.15 protection. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in. Psalm 121 verse 8. Theodore Monad said, After all, obedience is the best commentary on the Bible. Do and you will know. Jesus Christ, a Savior of all classes, One, the astronomer, Christ, the bright morning star, Revelation 22, 16. Two, the baker, Christ, the true bread, John 6, 32. Three, the botanist, Christ, the plant of renown, Ezekiel 34, 29. Four, the builder, Christ, the foundation, Isaiah 28, 16. Christ, the chief cornerstone. 1 Peter 2 6. 5. The carpenter. Christ, a nail fastened in a short place. Isaiah 22 23. 6. The electrician. Christ, the light of the world. John 8, chapters 8 and 12. 7. The farmer. Christ, a corn of wheat. John chapter 12, verse 24. 8. The florist. Christ, the rose and the lily. Cant, chapter 2, verse 1. Hmm. Chapter 9, the geologist, Christ, the rock of ages. 1 Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 4. 10, the herbalist, Christ, a cluster of camphor. Cant, 114, Christ, the root of Jesse. Isaiah, chapter 11, verse 10. 11, the horticulturalist, Christ, the true vine. John chapter 15 verse 1 12 the lawyer Christ the testator or covenanter Hebrews chapter 9 verse 16 and 17 13 the merchant Christ the pearl of great price Matthew chapter 13 verse 46 14 the physician Christ the balm of Gilead Jeremiah 8 22 15 the sailor Christ, a refuge from the storm, Isaiah 25, verse 4. And 16, the shepherd, Christ, the lamb without blemish and without spot, 1 Peter 1, 19. Five ifs to beware of. One, if thou wilt, Luke 5, 12, doubt of divine willingness. Two, if thou canst. Mark 9.22, Doubt of Divine Power. 3. If I may, Matthew chapter 9, verse 21, Doubt of Personal Fitness. 4. If it be thou, Matthew chapter 14, verse 28, Doubt of Divine Word. 5. If the Lord would make windows in heaven, 2 Kings 7.2, Doubt of Divine Providence. Sevenfold Rejection of Christ. His Own World. John 1.10, his own nation, John 1.11, his own country, Mark 6.4, his own city, Luke 4, verse 29, his own kindred, John 7, verse 5, his own elders and chief priests and scribes, Luke 9, verse 22, his own disciple, Mark 14, verse 71. Uh, five books re five books of recent years are better adapted to instruct and help Christians than those of this author. He is a man mighty in the scriptures, D.L. Moody. 
Oh, I see. This is the end of the book. These must be other books, and these must be the prices. Those books must cost... for these uh, it's got some Spurgeon back here that would be the end.